DaVinci Resolve has this really cool revolutionary feature of actually allowing us to see our audio waveform with our video clip at the same time here in our source monitor. And to see that, it's an option right up here for our three dots above our source monitor. Now, whenever you first open DaVinci, it's gonna look like this here. You're not gonna see anything. So you turn it on right up here. We have a zoomed waveform and a show a full clip. We'll get back to that in just a second. Now, the reason why I say this is revolutionary is if you look at Media Composer, for example, if I load a clip that has audio associated with it into our source monitor, I can't see the audio until I pull it into my timeline. Same thing if I loaded up just a audio clip, I can't see the waveform at all. I see nothing at all. I have to actually pull that into my timeline to actually see my audio waveform. Now, Premiere is a little bit different. I can load up this clip and just click our audio overlay there. And then I can see my audio waveform, but I can't see both at the same time like we can here in Resolve. So again, here are our two options. Let me actually switch clips here. We'll switch to this ambulance. And let me dim this right now so it's not so loud. And again, whenever you open this up for the first time, it's gonna look like this, okay? Now we can see our audio by coming right down here to our source, our viewer options, click our down arrow and just choose audio track. Now we can see the full audio track, scrub through it, make your in and out marks uh, based on your audio if you want. Let's go back to source, but we can also have the audio overlay so we can see it at the same time. Again, right up here, let's start with our zoomed audio waveform and come back to the very beginning and you can see what this looks like. I'll go ahead and play back and you can see the action of that waveform. So it's zoomed in, maybe make it a little bit easier for you to make a cut or to make your in and out points. Maybe I want my in and out point to be say here based on our waveform, instead of just trying to judge it by the video clip, then play through. And I want it to stop before it starts again, right there. Grab my out and there we go. Now I have my edit. I can of course grab this and throw it right in we have our audio and our video right there cut exactly how we want right here from our source monitor using our audio overlay and of course our in and out uh, points there. So let's come back to the beginning of this clip again and now let's switch it to the full audio waveform clip. And now it's just the full audio waveform clip, okay? So you can use both of those to make your edits, uh, make your edits easier by being able to actually see the audio in the video at the same time. A really awesome feature here in DaVinci Resolve. Let's look at cutting our audio in, for example. So if I want an in point here, for example, and just play through, we'll just say it's right about there, have our out point right there. Now, if I just wanna cut my audio in, I can just grab the audio right here, just grab the icon right there, and pull that in down here. And now you can see we just pulled the audio in and not the video. So as we can see here now, you can take this off dim if you want. All right, so we just got our audio and we didn't even have to touch the video. Now, what if I just want the video? Well, I can do the same thing. Let me actually get rid of these in out points. I'll just drag them out. And let's say we want our girl here, right where she's gonna kick up, right about there. I can grab my in and say just uh, out about there. And I'm just using I and O to mark my ins and outs, which is standard across every NLE. So now if I just want the video, just grab just the video right here and I can drop it wherever I want. And now we have that audio from this clip, but we have a different video clip. And of course it's gonna switch to uh, this clip here that we actually have in our source. All right, pretty cool. Now there is something else you could do whenever you're dragging your audio or your video in. And of course I can just grab anywhere in here. Let me clear these marks again. If I wanted both the audio and the video, of course I can just grab it and throw that in wherever, you know, wherever I want. Like that, of course, control Z out of that. But we also have a couple other options we'll quickly touch on. If I wanted to say, put this clip at the very end, obviously I could drag it, but let's say my clips are very long I don't want to have to scroll to the end of my timeline. Watch this. I can actually grab this video here, come over here to my timeline monitor and just do a pinned at end as an example. So in order for you to actually see this, I'll actually squeeze it down and take a look at where my playhead is, right? Usually wherever your playhead is, is where your edit is going to be for those who don't know. 
But watch this. I can grab this clip, say the entire thing, just say appended end, and boom, right there it is, right at the end. I could also do the same thing, which say just the audio. Drag it over here, appended end. There we go. All right, so there's a few options there of getting your clips into the timeline, marking your in and out points with our audio overlay. Of course, switching to your audio track in here as well to see the full, you know, the full audio track. And of course, as mentioned, uh, pulling those audio clips in. Also, as you might notice right now, I switched to the audio and then I switched back to my source and my audio overlay is gone. Keep in mind, I am using the public beta. So there's a few bugs here and there. If that happens, not a big deal. Just untick it and then tick it again and you're right back to where you were. Also, if you have a bunch of clips that don't have audio in them, like this, for example, there's no audio in this. If you notice, since we have our audio overlay on, I still have the overlay here, but there's no audio. If that gets annoying because you're working with only clips that uh, do not have audio, just be sure to come up here and again, just turn that off. And you can, of course, edit as usual. All right, so that is a pretty cool, somewhat revolutionary feature of actually letting you see your video clip and your audio clip at the same time to make better edits right here in your source monitor in DaVinci Resolve.